When we had last left Team Bald, they were still in the depths of Derlag's tower, this time faced with four corridors, each with their own I'm strange in Mother Earth. Strange and it had I the power. And specific encounter and challenge. Indeed, there were multiple foes, some with fire magic, some that needed to be bested with fire magic, and others that had invisible dudes, and one more that was kind of forgettable. It was just a snow bear or whatever the heck. But alas, after that, it was time for a whole new kind of wild ass encounter. Indeed, it was some sort of weird, twisted game of chess, where the stakes could not have been higher. Life and death were in the balance. But with these challenges now complete and out of the way, it was time for Team Bald to descend ever further and perhaps encounter this now ethereal voice that spoke out to them. This is Baldur's Gate, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let us unhide all of this. There we go. And I've turned on everyone's AI just as well. Don't worry there about we me. Are. We did check all the loot in here, huh? Yeah, we did. Look at this room as well. Hmm. We got in here by way of teleportation, right? So how do we even get out, I wonder? Like, can you go back? Hmm. Okay, maybe this will just put us somewhere strange, right? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, we can't go back now, can we? I've got huh. this. Oh shit! It's Durlag Troll Killer in ghost form. You have come. What? <laughs> Do you think he'd sound more like a? This is Baldur's Gate. The ghost voice overrides dwarf voice. I think, a hundred percent. You have come quite far. Not many live to speak, less live to leave. You are far from done. I hold surprises yet. Seek direction in this place. When you understand the path, when you understand the course, you will be able to go on. You must be worthy to face what comes. There is evil here, not built within. You must expel the new invaders. Yeah, we still haven't met that other team unless, like, the idea is that they were some of the bodies we found. Which is likely. But you would think they would be alive, what with the T's. Or at least a few of them would be alive. Who are you? Are you Durlag himself? No, I'm another doppelganger. <laughs> Why do you taunt me, Phantom? Who are you to do so? <laughs> Who are you to do so? Do you mean me harm? I will not yield to ghosts and specters. Who are you? Are you Durlag himself? Am I Durlag? You have cause to wonder. You have seen traps and illusions and phantoms. But the spirit of Durlag has long since passed to whatever fate the dark veil holds this place this place is his fear his anger his torment you wish to conquer this place you will have to understand what created it oh god Remember well what you have already seen, or leave now and live life long and natural. Three paths lead away. All must be taken. Oh, uh, okay. So I guess we have three challenges to resolve. Oh my gosh. Let's read this update. I have encountered a phantom, presumably of Durlag himself. It is said that the true spirit of Durlag passed long ago, but his hatred and fear which built the tower still maintain it. Uh, it said, I must understand three of the paths that led to this place. After that, the way will become clear. It seems to want something as well. It said there was a new evil here, something not a part of the tower. 
that must be expelled. I don't fancy being this creature's lackey, but I may have no choice. Unless I just leave. <laughs> I like how it continues to give us that option. Can we just leave? What happens if I go back out? Don't how do I leave me. if I want? Yeah, we're back in this room. Is there actually an exit here? Along one of these walls? I don't think so, dude. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I don't know how we can just leave if we want. I think uh, they're full of it? Or we'll find something up ahead. Oh gosh, how do I... Uh oh. <laughs> don't worry about me. No, I can't go back in. Good. I've got this. Oh no. Oh, there you are. Okay. Hmm. We can quick save here. All right, this looks like some Bowser's Castle shit down here. It's over here. Should we are we safe to assume that we're cool here? Oh, we should probably talk to you again since there's some kind of specter. You have Oh no, wait. We've heard this before. Why do you taunt me, Phantom? I am a shadow of a man. I am Durlag, more or less. The spirit of the Builder has long since passed, gone to whatever reward the Black Veil holds. This place sustains the fear, the anger, frustration. You have seen phantoms and illusions. Remember what you have learned. You may yet conquer, but you must understand the paths. Three paths lead away. All must be taken. Seek direction. Okay, yeah. Three paths, three corner. puzzles or something. Ooh, what was that weird noise? Was that the sound of the ghost? Okay, there's some nasty goo area with a lootable over there. So what, where's this go to? Are we safe in assuming that this area is free of booby traps, or should we assume that it is also full of booby traps? It may also be full of booby traps. We'll be careful here. Let's see, how's our map size look? Eh, we're right in the smack dab center. Okay, so is this part normally inaccessible? Only through magic that you can get from the four corridors? To the chess room. This looks like an, an illusory wall, if I've ever seen one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So far, so good. I guess we'll pop this. Looks like it leads into this, like, nasty poop tunnel. Probably another illusory wall. Jeez, how far does this thing go? Hmm. Okay, we better get the rest of Team Ball to back up M1 here. You want it? You've got it. There we are. I'm gone. Any monsters inside? Oh, it's you. It's the wife. It's Lane. It's Lon. Okay. Seems like no booby traps. Don't worry about me. Okay. You're emitting a more like zombie noise rather than a ghost. I gotta say. Okay. What do you have to say, ghost of Islan? See? You, they sound more like a, a zombie than a ghost, huh? Huh? You have come far and seen much, but not all would stay. Leaving is what I offer. Irritate the spirits no more. Leave this place and the madness it keeps. The world above is yours. The depths belong to the dead that will not let go. Good spirit, you can send me away from this place. I will accept your offer. Thanks just the same, but I will stay. The light calls. You do not go. You are just as stubborn as my Durlag. I will send when you wish. Would that I could send the weight from his shoulders thus. Huh. 
So how do we get back if we want to? Let's see. Let's just quick save just to see you how exactly it? this you works. Send me. Back to the sky and the light with you. Here will stay the ghost of failure. My strong, stubborn derlag. Let the ages take the weight away. As swiftly as I send these children. Yeah, just to see how this goes. Oh, wow. It puts us all the way back out here. I guess good for quick vendor access and all it? that, right? Got it. So how do we get back into that section, I wonder? Don't worry hmm. about me. Okay, right, I you forgot. It? Click You've right here. It. Maybe she'll be right there in the lobby? I've got this. We've already disarmed everything. Oh well, yeah, how do we get back? Maybe you can't. Go Maybe Ryan once you go go that deep, actions. you can't go any deeper or something? Huh. There is also this mysterious well that we don't really know about. You oh, we can't it. really interact You've with it, it anymore. Hmm. All right. Sure. Yeah, odd. Huh. You must gather your party before venturing forth. How do we get back down there you if want we want it? to? You Maybe you really can't? That seems shocking. It almost feels like that's a, a reprieve for the player, right? Like maybe that's a halfway point? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hmm. Eh. Let's just quick load. There we are. Good. Don't worry about me. Okay. So here are three paths, but are these the ones that were spoken of to us? I don't think so. Can I check this little treasure trove right. here? Huh. A lot of treasure. Okay. I'll take it. Good. Okay. Don't worry about me. Let's investigate this other illusory you, wall here. Save the day. Oh, it's locked. Okay. I'm gone. There we go. Pop the lock on that. It's locked again. Oh, I didn't even read it. Okay, it, it has a wardstone lock. Gotcha. I've got this. Okay. Should we check over here? I'm assuming we'll get another illusory wall. Okay. So now the three paths ahead make sense, right? Because these these doors look similar in nature, right? Okay, and let's wait for this thing to pop. I've Good. Done, had enough of this. May as well make use of this secret access, since we can f fucking you know see it. Don't worry about me. Oh, can I not go in here? Oh, okay. There's something weird in the way. Oh, it's Imwin. <laughs> okay. There we are. I'm worried about there being slime booby traps That's or something. Right. Let's quick save again. Hmm. There's like little tiny circles inside of the slime. Okay. Is there, like, a trap on it or something? No. Looks fine. Look, there's more of these. Okay. Are we, like, actually harvesting slime or something when we do this? Uh, oh, shit! Uh, oh, shit! Okay. That's not good. Let's drop this over here and then we'll just take all. And then we'll heal uh, and win up. There we go. Okay, let's pass that to you. Give that an ID if you can. The one gift lost. Okay, let's pause and read that. Dart of wounding. Who's got our darts of wounding? I do. Okay. Good, let's pass that up there. And then Imwin, or dinner here. What is this? Oh, it's got charges on it. Necklace of Missiles, the one gift lost, or lost. The naming of this necklace originates from its only owner, Ikaida Morniv, who quested to regain his kidnapped daughter. Not many would help the determined father, but a kind and generous mage bestowed this item on him to aid his cause. Alas, the necklace was lost when Ikaida 
Ikeda? Ikeda. Ichabod. <laughs> uh, dropped it into the Immerflow River while fending off bandits upon a suspension bridge. Fortunately, it is rumored that the item was not needed to reunite the family once again. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Missile blast. Sure. But it's not magic missile. It is a 66 fire spell with a 15 foot radius and a range of 50. Okay. Hefty. Do we have anyone not wearing a necklace? Yeah, Jahira. I'm assuming because this necklace has like charges, it will not conflict with anything. Also, Khalid. And Imowen as well. Maybe we give it to someone who isn't already like normally using ranged. Like Khalid. There we go. Good. Also, we should have Khalid go back to melee. He's more effective. Alright. Equip these. Good. Alright, everyone's good. Let's do a quick save again. And let's proceed Don't forward. Don't worry about me. So good to know that the poison, slime-looking, nasty shit on the ground does in fact hurt us. It leads me to believe that there's no booby traps in this area, but then again, maybe they're... We should just fucking not ever think that in our entire lives while we're in here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This way. Should be able to safely check this. An open wound in Mother Earth. A lot of arrows and bolts. It, the power. And let's have dinner here. Grab it. Also, way. let's have Imwen take back that master thievery potion. No less than done. Good. Arrow plus one. And let's get the good bullets. Lovely. Okay. We'll pass those over to you. Get them equipped up. Cool. And you're already good stacking the arrows. Wonderful. Okay. I've done had enough of this. Let's do a quick save. Got some like Mushrooms, I think? Okay. Very moldy looking mushrooms. They look very sickly. Oh, greater ghoul. Okay. Let's get them. Oh shit, I'm in ranged mode still. Okay, we can use our cool new sword. Nice. Got a green ring. We'll take it. Pop it into our gem bag. And what's I've in here? Done had enough of this. Money, master thievery, antidote, oil of speed. That doesn't stack with haste, does it? I'm assuming it doesn't. It feels kind of redundant since we can now cast a similar effect, but maybe we should take it just in case? I don't know. Don't worry about me. Huh. Okay. Let's continue down here. It's like some sort of cavernous subterranean stream. I was kind of expecting like mushroom people, you know? But hey, sure, more ghasts or ghouls or whatever that was. Oh! Okay. Not mushroom people, but sure, this thing. These big like wormulons. Okay. Yeah, I remember those from a while back. Surprised to see them here, I guess. They make such a fucking noise, huh? Look, there's an open doorway there. Does it actually lead somewhere? It doesn't look like it. Let's check over here first. Oh shit, we're like smack dab in the middle of some shit, oh, huh? My heart's really not in this. There we go. Great. Fortunately, they're all easy enough. Oh, shit. What was that? Did Mince get petrified? No, he's just held. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, what is that weird, like, farting 
some kind of weird fart going on. You want it? You got right. it. Let's see. Inside of this goop, one gold piece. Should we chill out here for Minsk? <laughs> Maybe. Let's do a quick save. We'll push ahead while Minsk is recovering. And look, looks like another illusory wall. Okay. Nothing in that. Do you think I should be checking these for traps? I feel like they were in a- Oh gosh, we're in a no booby trap zone, but you never know. Okay. Let's get some healing on Minsk. There we go. Should we roll up here through this illusory wall? I don't know. Don't I feel like we're getting me. too many paths, too many potential areas we can travel right now. We have like a wealth of directions we could go. Wow. Almost a thousand gold in that. Okay. Anything else down here? I think we're good. Okay. Well, that's a dead end except for the illusory wall then. It's quick save. Does it need to be picked in some way? No. Okay. Don't worry about me. We'll just haul ass through it. Actually, one person will check you and see it? if it actually oh. opens. Okay. Oh. Good. Yeah, it seems fine. Let's get Imolin over I here next. Had that enough. way she can check for traps. Good. Weird. I wonder if these are all leading us to directions that would normally be uh, hidden behind the main doors that we were meant to go through. Or if this is like an area all different in all to its own self, you know? This way. Okay. It's like some weird crafting area? Storage area? Yeah. It's like another one of those tables that, um... Kiel was on. Okay. Can we pick into this? We can. Do you think something weird is going to happen when we get into this thing? I bet so. Look, there's another illusory wall here, though. Wow. It turns even further. Dude, this place is wild. There's a lot more than three paths at play here. <laughs> okay. I guess let's quick save and see if something like fucked up happens when we loot this. Huh? Anything? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like it's totally cool. Don't worry about me. Okay, I guess the the last time the enemies that turned on us were already in the world, you know. They didn't no, just spawn in. Done. Okay. <sighs> There are so nice longsword for Khalid. The Burning Earth. Flame Tongue plus one, the Burning Earth. Here, let's pause as we read this. Flame Tongue plus one, the Burning Earth. There was a time before Neverwinter was warm. There was a time before Neverwinter was warm and before the great Anorak was dry, or so it is said. Few relics remain to prove such an age existed, and fewer still have an identifiable purpose. The burning earth seems straightforward enough. It burns a victim with magical fire, and a cryptic rune seems to suggest that the power comes from the ground itself, but whomever constructed it remains a mystery. So is never winter? It's very literal, it's never winter there. How come I have so many- I've never actually played it, but I feel like I've seen so many clips and screenshots of it being winter and never winter. Oh, or is that the- is that the whole point? Is that the reason why there's a game set in the region of never winter because, uh-oh, this is never winter and now it's winter. Maybe that's it. <laughs> okay. But, uh, let's see. Oh gosh, where did I leave off? It burns a victim with magical fire, and a cryptic rune seems to suggest that the power comes from the ground itself. But whomever constructed it remains a mystery. It looks a perfectly serviceable weapon, but something in the balance or grip 
is wrong. It strains the forearm to a touch and does not fit the hand just right. It doesn't seem to hurt a warrior's performance aside from the nagging doubt that the blade was not made for her or any other humanoid. Oh shit, look at all this. It does a lot of weird shit. Thacko, plus one normally, plus two versus regenerating creatures, plus three versus cold using creatures, and plus four versus undead. Damage, one D8 plus one, plus one more versus fire. Plus, wait, what? Plus one? Oh, plus one fire all, 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 at all times. It always does one extra damage of fire. Gotcha. Plus two versus regenerating creatures, three versus cold using, and four versus undead. Okay. Huh. Situationally, very good. Right? And I, in fact, probably really good here because we're fighting mostly, like, are ghouls and ghasts undead? Or are they, like, monsters? I think they're undead, right? I think that's one of the big deals with, I believe someone wrote in a comment a while back, that yeah, one of the big things with Baldur's Gate is that things that are specifically good for fighting undead are especially good in this game because there's just so many undead. Okay, hmm. What do we want here then? Because I'm thinking we use this, you know? Wizard Slayer. I feel like now this this axe isn't quite as good. Right, because normally wizards that we fight die really quick. There you go. Oh shit, it looks cool as hell. Okay, Khalid, you're just going to use this forever. Holy shit, it is actually on fire. That was not in the description that it is like literally on fire at all times. Okay. <laughs> cool. There we go. We'll move that Wizard Slayer Axe to Minsk. Jeez, we're finding a lot of good weapons. Okay. Wow, look, and it's animated and everything. Cool. Look at Kia or <laughs> look at Khalid. Looking fucking rad. Okay. Let's check out the other item. Quarter staff. This looks like a normal quarter staff. But you never know. Okay, we need to rest. Good. No, Staff of Striking plus three. Wow. Staves of Striking are made by the Gold Elves of Drelagara on Evermeet. The staves have a life of their own and jump to attack in their bearer's hands. The elven craftsmen rarely sell them to other races, but these powerful melee weapons do surface occasionally in Faerun. However... Each attack made with the staff uses a charge, causing it to consume itself when no charges remain. Holy shit. It consumes itself? Alright. Huh. I guess we'll have her use it for now, and then when it consumes itself, have her swap back to her usual fare. Oh, can you even use it? Yeah. Dinner here could use it, but I don't think I want her to because she's too squishy for going into melee. Alright. Sure. We'll fuck around and use some melee on Jahira for a bit, I guess. Okay. Neat. What's you want in this? It? You've got it. Fun gym. I've done had enough of this. Take it. Cool. Dude, Khalid looks fucking cool as shit with the flaming sword. Okay. I'm loving it, Khalid. I've done had enough of this. Let's check in here for weird booby traps or whatever. There may not be any booby traps on this floor. Hmm. Which direction should we- Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There are some booby traps on this floor. Our diligence has paid off. Okay. Let's do a quick save. 
I like these these pillars that sort of divide the corridors up a bit. I'm kind of using them for moving M1 about. We'll see if it pays off. Okay, let's get the rest of Team Bald into position. You want it? You got it. Do you think this is gonna loop around to um, this right here, this big double door? But you need like a ward stone for that, unless you can just pop it easily from the other end. I've done had enough of this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We'll disarm that. Oh look, what is this? Something weird up there. We'll check down this way first. We'll go um, counter -clock or clockwise. You okay. want it? You got it. Good. Fortunately, this is a CRPG with like an isometric camera and a like full-on map. Otherwise, at, at about this point, I'd be starting to lose track of where the fuck we're going. <laughs> All right. This way. Good. You want it? You oh, got it. Look at that. Another one. I'm gone. All right. Quick save again. Let's have him one move forward a bit. Don't worry about me. Fuck, Khalid really looks cool. Look, my sword is more powerful, but I mean, I guess it does have an animated like pulsating glow to it, but it ain't on fire. You'd think that would also hurt their hand, right? <laughs> Remember in the description, I was like, Yes, but sometimes I've this mysterious this. yet powerful f sword, although it, it, is we it uses great power, and it is not hin a hindrance to the wielder, something about it feels off. The balance, the grip, something is always off about it. Yeah, maybe it's the fact that it's on fire and just constantly searing your hand a little bit. You have to wear, like, some kind of super oven mitt. Don't worry okay. about me. Over here. Like, it did describe, like, a an earth rune or something on it, didn't it? Something to do with a rune from the earth? Is that what- why it's on fire? Is that what that means when they described that? <laughs> yes, you know, a rune from the earth. That imp everyone knows that means that the sword is now on fire. Oh shit, we found their bank. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? Cool. Oh shit, it does not have a conventional lock. And we do not have the key, of course. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's head on back this way. We'll search whatever this is. Oh, is this like a the other end of this lock? Hmm. Like, is this a big counterweight or something? I've done had enough of this. Okay. Huh. Weird. There doesn't seem to be much else we can do with it. Evil round every corner. Careful not to step in any. Yeah, I can't like pick it. Are there any interaction things on it? No. I'm like scrubbing for clickables. No, I don't see anything. Huh. Maybe we activate it at some point and it like lifts up or depresses into the ground. I'm gone. Okay. Let's have him one keep going over this way then. You want it? You got it. Good. I've Should be safe to go up here, huh? Look, is this another dead end? Hmm. Okay. Don't worry about me. I was expecting a bit more of a straightforward puzzle, but right now it's kind of like more of exploring a labyrinth. I've done had enough of this. Okay. Maybe this is an illusory wall? Sometimes I feel like I can make out other rooms that are fog of ward. 
you probably won't be able to tell on YouTube, but with how YouTube, like, it's processing and compression shit. But, like, right here, where my mouse cursor is, is, like, a very dark shade of black, right? Whereas, right here, it's more purple. There's a light tint of purple to it. As if there's, like, a, a room there that has yet to be lit up. Like here, maybe you can make it out. It's a little bit more... The contrast is a little bit more intense right here. Near the, like, lock mechanism. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's nothing for now, or it'll open up later. You want it? You what an it. odd little side room. Oh god, a scary noise just as well. I don't even know what that was. Oh, it's dinner here, casting some fucking magic. Okay. <sighs> Let's go over here. Alright. Great. Let's get everyone into this room. Walk over the poison slime acid. Cool. Yeah, we still don't have access to this part. Hmm. Yeah, how will, how would we do that? Has Imwin looked over here yet? Jesus. I can, but try. Yeah, have a look at this, Imwin. Can you see anything here? Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess she just wasn't close enough earlier to detect the illusory wall. Okay. Holy shit! Is this just like a weird little worm room? I think it is. Got some potions, oil of speed. Okay. Good. Don't worry about me. Let's do a quick save again. What's in this? Nothing. That makes me wonder, did we not get would be proud of your Do we actions. need to like shove him one up closer against that wall? Should we try that out real quick? An open Don't worry what if that's the case? What if it happened there I again? Plug it had I the power. Let's do a quick save and, and just I try it out. Sorry, M1. Okay. Good. And then we'll put her right up against the wall and see if she, like, detects an illusion or something. Huh? No. Okay. It just really is a dead end. Fair enough. All right. Let's have her come back, then. I guess while she's doing that, the rest of us can move forward. Don't worry about me. And, like, fight some weird little creature. Okay. What is this? Uh. Master Thievery Potion. Good. Don't worry about me. Okay, let's have her I take that. Had enough of this. Good. Lovely. Don't worry about me. Alright. Now, do you think there's a illusory wall down here? There could be. Look at that. There could be. There is room for it. Let's get Imwin to stand right here and potentially detect something. Nah, I don't think so. I've got this. I think maybe this, like, grub area, there's... We have no worry of there being, like... Weird fucked up dudes. Or like booby traps, I should say. There's a lot go, of weird go, fucked go. up dudes. Plenty of them. For the fallen. Let's see, how's Khalid doing with as far as like damage? Eh. Doing okay. Cause I'm trying to try. figure out if these ghouls and stuff are considered undead. My issue is, like, I don't know if there's another classification of monster that they could fall under. Like, maybe there's just monster. Like, this is... This is just a monster. I'm gone. Okay, let's take these. Good. Stash that. Anything weird in this room that we need to watch out for? I don't think so. Okay. What is this? Money. And healing. All good. 
Okay. Over here. Did we check this one? We did. Okay. Let's check this one. Oil of speed and a bolt. As I guess we'll take a look. Can. There we go. Bolt of biting. I think we've got... Yeah. Do we have any on M1, actually? I don't think so. No. Alright, fair enough. I'm gone. Let's quick save. Oh look, this looks like an illusory wall. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe it just loops around from the other end. Let's see. Maybe she still needs to, like, detect it. Yeah, maybe not. I've maybe it just this. loops around. Okay, sure. I've done had enough of this. We'll check this little sconce of nastiness. There we are. We need to start passing off some of these potions, huh? Good. Don't worry about me. Okay. Up here in this weird bubbly thing. Okay, we'll get dinner here on that. Looks like another bolt of biting. Yep. Fire arrows. Yep. Take that. And we'll get these bullets. Get them equipped. Neat. Okay. Great. Do we have any fire arrows? Yeah. We got a stack right there that could use a few. Lovely. All right, quick save again. I've got this. And let's continue down this weird corridor. Oh dear God! <laughs> this is fucking nerve wracking. <laughs> this way. Okay. Let's see. Is this like some solidified goop? Oh wow. Okay. There's a big old illusory wall. Yeah, it looks like some of the weird poison slime has solidified don't worry about there. Me. I don't even know if this is, like, meant to be an area we're intended to go to even solve the puzzle. Like, this feels almost as if it's totally optional, you know? But then again, it's so huge now. We're at a point where, like, it's taken up at least a third of the map, it looks like. Oh, there's some fuckers in there. Okay. The monsters that we actually have to fight are not too bad whatsoever. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Sure, they cast hold on us, but well, at least it's not petrify. All right, what's in here? Frost giant strength potion of freedom. We'll leave that. We don't really need it immediately. Should we heal up here? Yeah. There I've we got are. this. Good. What's in here? Did we check this? Money. Okay. Now we can go down to this, which I think will loop around. Oh, look. There's even more nasty stuff. Do you think this part hurts, or only the, like, really bright green hurts? I've got this. Oh! Ooh, even that part hurts. Okay. Oh! Oh! There's a wand oh! there. Great, we'll pass this over to you. What is that? Wand of Monster Summoning. Fuck, we're getting too many of these. I'm just gonna drop it. <laughs> okay. I'll scout ahead since you I've got it? so much health. Oh! Fucking Greater Ghoul. There's a safe little area there. Oh shit. Oh, good thing I quick saved. I can, but try. No! Don't! Go team ball! No. Fucking go! Okay. Go for the eyes! Good. Alright. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Now let's heal up again. Here we are. Cure medium wounds. And we'll 
we'll even cast some on Imwin, I think. Hmm. I wonder. Do you think equipping my, like, speedy time sword also prevents me from getting stunned by taking the, like, AoE damage? Probably not, right? I've got this. Let's see, though. Oh! Nah. Oh! Oh! Ooh, 1.8 grand. Oh! Okay. Oh! I do end up taking more damage because of, uh, no access to the other shit. To the speedy boots. I've got this. Oh, oh shit! This one speaks! Growl or Grail! Come you have to this cursed place! Fools you are, and doomed as well! Welcome to the damned! You will stay here, yes you will! I will, I guard the withered corpse of that fool, Derlag, because there is little else to do. Back, foul creature, your evil taint will not infect me. And just who might you be? Answer carefully, because they will be the last of your words. What manner of beast are you? Speak, poor creature. What manner of beast are you? Poor creature, poor creature. Words of sympathy I, ne I not need. This place is an eternal tomb for the victims of battle long forgotten. And you offer pity? Even untwisted, I would laugh. But now I even hate you who walk here just as I did. You will fall as I did from an enemy just as unsinkable. The difference is that Derlag will not be there to take the credit of victory. We fought the demon also. We fought also. Legend speaks of him, not of undead also forts. Ah. Uh, so, who were you all in life? Fascinating. Okay, so Durlag had a whole bunch of other people that helped, and we're killing them right now because they got, like, twisted and fucked up in some way. Yes, an interesting tale, but I should be going now. Save your wailing for bards and sages, for I care not. I'll leave you to your helplessness if that is what you wish. Your fate, your unfortunate fate, is horrible. Is there nothing I can do to help you before I go? Eternal undeath is your pain. That I can help with. I will end your sorry lives and ease the pain of your soul. An unthinkable enemy of what do you speak? Can we get more info? Oh, we did. An evil so grand, only fools chase and fight. A Tanari true and horrible. Its name, you dare not, you do not speak, unless it's attention you wish to, you wish to bring. Long before it walked and stalked, long before even the fall of the tower, we fought along with Derlag to encase the evil away. His was the blow that won, and ours were the souls that lost. Here we stay, turned to evil and irredeemable, but heroes still, and not to be killed. A cruel charity. Durlag is legend, and we are a pity. Beware the gaze that is not a gaze, but a look into your soul. <gasps> is that a callback to the very beginning line? Hmm. Okay. Because, you know, if, if we gaze too long into this, perhaps who knows what could happen. <laughs> oh, look, we have our own take here, too. Inside of Derlag's tower, I encountered a ghoul of great power named Grael. He offered a warning about something called a Tanari and the horrible death gaze it wields. A gaze that is not a gaze. It sounds more insidious than even the gaze of the basilisk. It's not one of those eyeball things, huh? The beholders? Couldn't be. I wonder if the traditional precautions will even function against it. I shall keep this in mind, though I doubt I will meet such a creature. It has been ages since Grail's battle took place. Hmm. Your tale is interesting, but anything said by a ghoul should be taken with a grain of salt. I'll be going now. 
I feel like this is an interesting juxtaposition with these ghouls and stuff in relation to the so-called heroes who were petrified and all that, right? Very fascinating to think about that. I can handle whatever comes my way without advice from the dead. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I wish I could help you and restore your hope. Is there nothing I can do before I go? You are an abomination of what you once were. I will aid your soul by destroying your evil form. Can I help you in some way? Is there anything? You can do nothing. You can do nothing except... You can take my name from this place. You can take the memory of the battle and my name, and I will be free from the shadow of Durlag and that damnable demon. Fight now, that you can say true that we are battle ferocious. You will take the memory from here. Holy shit. Okay. Hopefully you aren't like strong as hell because I'm a little fucking weakened by whatever the fuck. Let's get some haste going on, I guess. There we go. Okay, let's also get some more light healing going on. Good. Is Jahira using her weird staff of smacking? I think so. Okay. Let's see. Let's also have her cast a heal onto Minsk. Good. Let's equip our good sword too while we're at it. There we go. Hey, look, we got Wardstone. Oh, do you think it goes back to the place from earlier? Okay. Dinner here. Give it an ID. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a... What do you call it? An unknown. From Pokemon. Let's give it an ID. Compass Wardstone. A compass rose is inscribed on this stone. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll hold on to it. Anything else here? Just a load of, like, precious stones. Any, like, special ones that we should breed about? Nothing that seems terribly unique. Okay. Take all these. Good. I've done had enough. Any booby traps in this little side room? No. Okay. There are some fun bracers there. As directed. Let's have a look at them. Bracers of Defense, AC8. I think we're already good in that regard. Yeah, we don't even have anyone who needs them. Thanks to Robes of the Good Arch Magi. I'm gonna dump them. We don't have room for it. Too much cool shit in don't this place, huh? Me. Okay. Well, I suppose when next we come back, should we adventure out this last little bit of the corridor in case it's also a dead end and the whole intention of this weird goop area is just to meet this Grail dude? Right? And then... maybe we take the Wardstone back to either the Vault or to this wall. It may let us in there. Right? Maybe it'll even let us into this Vault because it's... you know, the Compass Rose is kind of similar to the Vault's I don't know what you would call it, uh, valve? <laughs> what do you call that? Wheel, I guess, on a vault? Yeah, I don't know. But, nonetheless, we should check out and see what effect it has, if any, on that stuff. I do think we should probably check out these while we're here, just in case they're dead ends. Right, because this entire goop area may just be for the express purpose of meeting that dude. Alright, until next time, please, take care of each other.